This video is about the stochastic funnel algorithm being applied to what I've called an asymptote model. That is why the model is y equals 1 on beta minus x. This is the data. What we're trying to do is find the value of beta that best uh, produces that data. So we're using the stochastic funnel algorithm. This is a, a population based search. It's a Darwinian search. We create a hundred random values of beta, beta and those hundred random values exist between 1 by 10 to the minus 6 and 1 by 10 to the plus 6 so that's between a millionth and a million so what we've got here is the first run if we just switch here what we can see is that this is the sum of squares error for the asymptote model the action happens between beta equals about 0 and 6. We've got an asymptote here. This asymptote equals the sum of squares of the observations. It's 2.5. So, let's see. When we generate the random variables, we generate them uniformly over the scale that we want. And this is a fairly big scale. Um, what we find is that when we look at the best 20 for the first generation, most of the values are way down here and there's only one value here which looks interesting. All of these values seem to be close to the asymptote 2.5 but this one's below the asymptote what happens is that this value here will act as an anchor for the search. We'll still be looking down here but we'll be looking around here as well. So let's see what happens. Next generation. So what's happened is that that anchor's allowed us to include another two values here which are less than 2.5 and what's happened here is that the um, other values that are above the asymptote are drifting off down to, to the right. So another generation and another generation. So we see those values to the right, they're drifting off to 1 million but at the same time we're picking up more values in the region of interest. We can see where the asymptotes, where the horizontal asymptotes are and also where the vertical asymptotes are. So the search is closing in. It's between um, 10 to the minus 1 and 10 to the 6 at this stage. So another generation and another generation and another generation, another generation. All right. So now the search is between um, 10 to the 0 and 10 to the 1. The value that we want is 3 and what we see is a uh, parabola for the SSE so it's become um, very uh, linear in that region converging and we see that the beta value that we want is actually 3 and all of these beta values in the best 20 are getting closer and closer and closer. So convergence is happening. So the best value we've got is 2.999853. Um, that's an artifact of the way that the, gener the uh, random numbers are generated in this model in Excel. Let's start again. All right, we've got two values on the left here which will act as an anchor okay convergence again let's start again all right all the values that we've got for the best 20 are above 2.5 let's see what happens here so it's drifting off to 1 million and the SSE value is 2.5 so what we found is that because